Hey guys, it's Necro131. You guys are going to freaking hate me, but I was playing just kind of off to the side with the rock cruiser type C, and I found the freaking device I needed. I'm really sorry, but I got really bored and frustrated, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to play this, and I found it. So here we go. An ancient device is orbiting within the crystal rings of a nearby gas giant. You, you can't discern its nature or function, but it seems to have been deactivated for a very long time. Perhaps you can get some scrap from it. Crystal crew, reactivated. Crystal and companion says, It looks like we have found the abandoned link to the crystal homeworlds. I can reactivate it. He transmits some codes to the device, and it immediately powers on. We get one fuel. And we got an achievement, Ancestry. Brilliant. Uh, you arrive in a sector not listed in any star charts. Strange crystal and ships dot the horizon. Your companion speaks. Here we are, my home sector. It has been a long time since others have set foot here. I wonder how you will be received. You deploy your distraction buoys, giving you more time to explore the sector before the fleet catches up. We have the fleet delayed by one jump, and we can continue. You have done as you have promised, and so shall I. We didn't really promise anything because this is crystal type C, but who cares? Um, the coordinates of my old ship have been forwarded to your navigation system. We've added a quest marker to our map. Okay, it looks like we've got kind of combat everywhere. I want to get that quest really fast, even though I have distraction buoys. Um, you arrive at the beacon and are immediately greeted by an automatic message or warning of some kind. The translator can't seem to discern its purpose, but after a few short moments, an alarm goes off and a hostile ship jumps in. Okay, this is a crystal scout. It has crystal weaponry, obviously. So I guess we get to fight them with our crystal weaponry. Well, actually, we have more than just... Alright, cool, everything's charged. As you can see, I have a combat mark drone mark too, which I might as well deploy. Just so that I can get some shots in on their weapons. Oh, jeez. Well, that did a lot of damage. And this... I think I should target their shields next. I, I ended up with literally about six drone schematics. So... Yeah, we're going to accept their surrender. Uh, they thank you for sparing them. Their extreme aggression quickly changes into a calm acceptance. You're not sure if they are mocking you when they dryly state that your species has a knack for warfare. I've read up on a bunch of events for this sector, and pretty much every encounter where you have to fight a crystal ship, if you let them live, they're like, oh yeah, <laughs> you all like war so much. So we got some pretty good rewards from that. As you can see, I have a ton of scrap, which means that I should get a second level of shields... And a fourth. Oh, wow, no, I ran out of power. It's okay, actually, because I have one extra power in my clone bay. As you can see, my ship is incredibly well outfitted. The only thing it was lacking was shields, which I just fixed. Yeah, let's jump to the quest. Oh, I am uh, my own fleet. We unlocked the crystal cruiser. Nice! And we got the quest for it. You arrive at the coordinates to find a massive crystalline cruiser docked at a small repair station. You arrange for the ship to be sent back to the Federation base while the station upgrades your hull. The crystalline ship is sent to the hangar. The Bravius has been unlocked. I thought the Bravius was the second one. No, that's the Carnelian or something. We got the Crystal Vengeance Augment, 3 fuel, 39 scrap, and 1 hull point repaired. Ooh, that's a really good augment. Do I really need distraction buoys? I don't think so. Okay, cool. Nice. That's what we wanted. <laughs> so this is kind of an update video as well. Um, I know that that was kind of stupid of me to do this without you guys, but you guys have to respect the fact that I've been searching for that ship since I got FTL, which has been a considerable amount of time. So I really didn't feel like starting all over again. That just wouldn't make any sense. So um, really quickly, this is kind of an update video. Uh, apparently Hobbs, who me and him have kind of co-ownership of the channel, has decided that we need to go through a name change, because apparently, I, I don't understand it. Um, anyways, I don't know what's going on, but apparently we're going through a name change, and apparently nothing else is going to be different, just our name. So, instead of Flaming X Gamers, will be something else. I honestly could care less, I think it's a bit ridiculous, but... Whatever floats his boat, I guess. Um, yeah, that was pretty much all. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.